हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल सी हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर योर सेमेस्टर एंड एग्जाम्स थ्री इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट विल हैव योर एग्जाम्स इन द मंथ ऑफ जून सो लेट्स हैव अ क्विक रिकैप ऑफ व्हाट शुड बी डन एंड व्हाट शुड नॉट बी डन यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर अ चेकलिस्ट गेट योर टाइम टेबल फॉर द एग्जाम्स सी विच इज द टफेस्ट एग्जाम अमॉन्ग इट एंड स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन वन मंथ बिफोर द सिलेबस कॉपी ऑफ यूर सब्जेक्ट फर्स्टली एंड देन कलेक्ट द मेटीरियल फ्राम given notes or from moodle google classroom etc download previous year model question papers and short answer type question papers here you are ready to start with unit 1 get a pen and paper with you in any unit you will be able to identify some important questions and important topics given and mark give by give yourself your a quick recap with the written notes in your class or moodle uploaded notes or ppts given by a teacher example in microprocessor and microcontroller subject you should be knowing that in any unit architectural diagram is very important start reading introduction important topic and then go for the problems in it check along with your uploaded materials and ppt without fail always try to practice it on a paper and complete every unit with practicing guys you can do the same procedure for all the units i mean five units can be covered in the same step by step manner and finally problems at the end of every unit do not forget to check out the previous question paper frequently asked question from that unit this will make you to understand the type of questions asked and the marks allotted for each topic in a unit your question paper contains 10 marks questions divided into two parts five marks each or one Do not mark forget questions. the diagrams wherever needed in the question asked along with a scale and pencil without fail draw the diagrams neatly and write the questions neatly evaluation of marks is depending on the regulations you write r22 r20 a so now what you write is your r22 and so you will be having 40 marks internals plus 60 marks external Of course you will score good in your internal marks along with your internal subjective objective 10 subject to 20 assignments and final assessment 5 plus 5 coming to the external marks it will be divided into part A and part B where you have a part A questions 10 questions each with one mark part A has short answer questions part B has long answer type which has five questions with internal choices in the terms of or all the questions will cover every unit of the syllabus and so unit 1 will be giving two questions in your final exam question paper with internal choice in them the 10 mark question can be single question or be divided into sub divisions a and b with five marks each and so guys you have to be prepared with all the units do not leave any unit untouched or completely uncovered because any single topic or two three topics in a unit which you left can save you and help you in scoring good marks so friends touch all units and study perfectly units 3 or 4 coming to the presentation of the paper now you have done the preparation of your exam and you have checked out the evaluation of the paper it's time to present the paper wonderfully on your answer script guys from evaluator's point of view the presentation of paper matters 120% write the paper as neatly as you can and draw the diagrams perfectly wherever they are asked are not asked first and foremost thing in your examination hall give due respect to your invigilator who is witnessing your exam and your behavior time management plays an important role and maximum role in presenting your paper perfectly how you have prepared it part a contains short answer types of one mark so 10 questions should be given 2 or 3 minutes which takes 30 minutes to complete part a then you can actually move to part b part b where you have five questions long answers so check out which question you know the best and try to write completely the best answer you know among the five questions with internal choice Do not forget to write the question numbers and diagrams, subheadings, titles, etc. Guys, there will be one unit which you have prepared confidently and your choice, 
and that question should be written firstly in part b where you are presenting 100% of that question's answer next go with underlining the subheadings and asked point in the question perfectly without fail you have to approximately a lot 20 to 25 minutes for each question in part b without fail and check out the time now and then when you complete each long answer and even if you allot 30 minutes to each question it comes to two and a half hours for part b guys once if you are done give 15 minutes last 15 minutes to check out all the answers written by you recheck of your answer scripts will always make you to come out of small mistakes done like not writing your question paper number or not writing your roll number missing of any subheadings, missing of any answer number or any formula etc. Complete the answer with given question at the end. Dear students, do not be in a hurry or do not drop any exam because it's a wrong choice to drop any exam by your own. You might score good or you might not score good but you do not do a mistake of dropping an exam writing an exam incompletely, coming out of examination hall within one hour. It takes five days to complete a subject. If you allot a day to each unit, even though if a subject is tough, you can finish a subject preparation with all the notes, uploaded material in Moodle or Google Classroom or any previous question papers in five days. Guys, please check this. And five into six, 30 days so you can even do it in five subjects in 30 days with very ease and completeness guys your time is very precious and score good marks in the time allotted to you and do not put any backlogs because because your marks code will speak in the time of recruitment for your job guys all the best and you can do well because you are the best Try and following this timetable and small tips and tricks in writing your exam genuinely work hard. Honesty is the best policy. So guys, you see the result and I'll be waiting for your comments after you write the exam. My students are the best and you will rock the paper and give the wonderful results. A teacher will be always waiting for your results as she feels the happiest. And always take care of your health, guys. Eat well, sleep well and study well. Be a good student to a teacher and a good child to your parents. All the best. Good luck for your exams. Waiting for your results. And keep on checking my next video where I'll be clearly explaining step-by-step -step preparation of all second year engineering subjects. Good luck. Subscribe my channel for getting more notifications.